Okay, today we are doing a 3D hedgehog. So I asked my five-year-old, this is him right there. Say hi, Jameson. What? Say hi. Hi. I asked my five-year-old what color a hedgehog is. And he said blue. So we are going to make a blue hedgehog. Um, and I have a lady on our Facebook group that asked about putting names on the sides of our half faces, and so I'm also going to display that as well, show you how to put, how it would look if you put a name on the side of the face. So, um, he is all loaded up in the machine, ready to go. You can change, I've set it up to where you can change the color of his eyeballs, um, pretty much change the color of everything, and I'll show you how to do the spikes his hedgehog spikes on the back of his head as well in this tutorial. So he's all set up. I have my stabilizer hooped. I have my towel that is uh, floated on top and I have my, it set up on the markings on the sides of my hoops so that it is set up correctly because this is set up all the way down at the bottom of my screen. So I want to make sure that it's set up at the bottom of my hoop. Um, so now I have white fleece for his eyes and I'm going to start by putting it in my machine, um, on top of my towel and one of these times I will actually have a tripod or my husband help me again. <laughs> so, um, I have him all set up in the machine, stick it on top. And then now there are many different things you can put on the back of your fleece. Some people are using the pellet interfacing. Some are using heat bond. Some are really using heat bond light. Um, some are doing nothing. Um, it's all just a preference on what you want to use. Uh, for tutorial purposes, I am just doing nothing. So I just stuck them in there, my fleece in there, and then I'll press start on my machine and it will start doing the eyes. Um, it will stitch around twice the eyes, the tack down, and then a placement. I just put it down for both of them and just leave it there. And so then I'll be right back. Okay, so it stitched out the eyes. I trimmed them out and now I'm putting the um, fabric down for his face or his like, yeah, his face part, his under his nose and stuff like that. So I'm going to let it stitch out twice and then trim it and I will be right back. Okay, so it stitched it out. I trimmed it. Now it's going to do the satin stitching for its face and then it'll move on to its eyes um, and it will stitch out the rest of it. I will be back right before it starts the name so I can show you or right after it does the name uh, so I can show you how it looks and we will do the uh, hedgehog spikes on the back of his hood as well. All right, so his face is finished, and it just finished stitching out the, the name on the side. Now, I normally don't put Salvi on top of all of my design. I normally will just do it on top of the uh, the name just so that it doesn't fall into the, um, the towel. Uh, so this is how it would look if you did it on the side of the face. Now, you can go in and... Uh, you could even wrap it around the eyes or whatever if you wanted to make it more curvature towards its face. Or you can leave it as it is. I'm just going to leave it as it is, as it is just a sample. Um, so anyway, so you pick off your salvi if you use it. Um, or you can always take like a wet washcloth to it and it dissolves it on the little pieces that you can't pull up. Um... So the next part is going to be the spikes of his hedgehogness, because hedgehogs are pointy and spiky and and cute that way. So um, so I'll unhoop this, and then I'm going to rehoop uh, some new stabilizer in another five by seven hoop, and I will be right back. Okay, so if you had cut your towel apart you would have the other half of the hand towel. And so if you take that and you fold it in half um, like this, then you want to put it in your hoop up here. 
just like so. And this will be for your spikes. So the half of the hood and towel will be for his head. The other half of your hand towel will be for his spikes. Now I put it on top. Here are your cool hedgehog spikes. Um, the bigger one is going to be at the top of the hood and then the little ones go smaller. Um, so it has two, two steps, but I just simply put it layered in the hoop like that and stitch out the two steps. Then we'll pull it off the hoop, cut it out, and then flip it inside out and I'll show you how to attach it to your hoop once that happens.